You are now listening to Mike's Opinion. Logic Unleashed. That's right, you are now listening to and watching the Mike's Opinion Podcast. Happy Hump Day to you. We over the hump yet? No, we on the hump. We right on top of the hump because it's hump day. We right stuck in the middle, but I hope you happen to ha- having a happy, happy hump day. And always off the rip, you know I want to know how are you doing? How are you doing? Are you doing all right? Let me know, Mike's Opinion Show at gmail.com or hit me up on any of the socials. Just search. Sometimes you got to search Mike's Opinion Podcast because there's some other mics out there. But I'm the original Mike. No, I'm not. There's plenty of mics. But I'm the only Mike of the Mike's Opinion Podcast. And I thank you for tuning in. You know? How are you doing? You know? People ask that question and they don't really care. It's like, hey, how you doing? They don't, they don't really care for you to respond. I like for you to respond. Let me know. Interact. Say yo, Mike. My day is jack. My day is whack. Well, my day is fantastic. Like, for instance, you don't know this. Because usually I record like really late at night slash early in the morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. But right now. I'm recording the morning of like, oh, I got some sleep. You say, I'm like, you don't sleep? No, I really don't sleep. I'm still working it out. But I got about eight hours of sleep. I woke up a couple times, go to the bathroom. But before that, I was up for 24 hours straight. And he said, yo, you bugging, son. What are you doing? It's just my schedule. I'm all over the place. I just stay up. I be working like the day. I got a busy day planned. But you know, I said last week, because the week before last week, I had missed a week, like a month. Mm. And you got to be consistent. Consistent. But if y'all know how much stuff I had going on, y'all be like, oh, oh, yo, you good. And by the way, it's my T and my M mug. Matter of fact, you can get you a Mike's Opinion mug with the Mike's Opinion podcast logo. Yo, this green screen joined is wet. You see the Mike's Opinion podcast? Yo, get you some merch. Get you some merch. I need to cop me my own mug. But I'm having some tea this this wonderful hump day Wednesday morning. It is, uh, what's the day? Today's the 10th day of July. Summer is here. It's here. And, um, yo, before I even go any further, shout outs. So all my people down in in H-Town, down in the Houston area, because Hurricane Burl, Burl, I don't know why I like saying that name. It's just weird, Burl, because I guess I don't, I've never heard that word, Hurricane Burl, Burl. Anyway, I touched on it last week, Um, record-setting hurricane, early, super strong, but um. My thoughts and my prayers and and my 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 positive energy and vibes go out to the people in Houston. There's over a million people still that don't have power and it's supposed to hit 105. You know, it makes me wonder: Has the world been this high? And if so, to my my former slaves picking cotton in the dirty South all day in that heat. It's it's it makes my heart hurt. It, it really does. <clears throat> there was no AC back in them days. You just had to like I guess try to you know even before ice, you know, before they had refrigerators and the ability to make ice. What you do to cool down? Just hope for a breeze. Pray for some shade and some breeze. You know the coolest drink you got was a drink that was in the shade. Whew. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. But uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to those people. I hope the electricity is restored quickly. They say that this um Atlantic hurricane season might be woo. Do you believe in climate change? Let me know. Mike's Pain Show at gmail.com. Hit me up on any of the socials. Um, do you think climate change is real? I think it's it's really impossible to think 
that we have not affected the Earth's atmosphere and subsequently the climate. So, yeah, there's that. But today, today, today is about, it's a short episode, <clears throat> but I just, I just, you know, I always see these um, videos on social media. I don't know who he need to hear this. Who need to hear this? Maybe you need to hear this. But my son needed to hear this yesterday because I have a preteen son. I got a, a grown daughter, gave me two wonderful granddaughters. But oh, oh serenity now, serenity now. And only if you have kids, particularly teens and preteens, will you understand. Usa. Usa. They will work your last nerves. Of course, love them beyond measure, right? Unconditional. But they know everything. They know it all. They know it all. And when you, you know, you're trying to get them to put in that work and develop a good work ethic. And I admit, I push. I can, I can, because I, you know, excellence don't come easy. Excellence takes work. Right. And uh, my daughter to this day is still a little bitter. Shout out to you, daughter. Mwah, I love you to death. <clears throat> but a B was unacceptable to me. And my ex-wife, yo, what? Why are you bringing home Bs? And she was like, it's a B. What? It's good. No. No, it's not. You know, we want to know why? Because you got the brain power, okay? It's been recognized. You have the intelligence. Boom, point one. Point two, you are given, you have been given the environment, okay? You're not growing up with gunshots around. You're not growing up with drama. You live in a quiet, you have all of the, the tools required to acquire and A. OK, so the only thing missing from that recipe is your effort. Is your dedication <clears throat> to get the work done. That's all that's missing. So what that means is you weren't doing the work right. You had the, 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 the homework environment. You had access to, I don't know, your teachers and and, you know, whatever you needed. The formula was there to get it A. So when you came home with a B, nah, nah, I'm not trying to hear that. So this newest iteration of children, aka my son, which I did not think I was going to have any more children. Very blessed and happy, lucky that I did. Love my son to death. <sighs> There's a movie, I'm not going to mention its name, but it was a documentary and basic, the basic premise of the documentary was these powerful electronic devices and the, the software that's run on these devices, these apps, these programs are negatively affecting our children. Okay. I talked to my son yesterday. I said, yo, I didn't have what you have now and all of these you know games and youtube and all this they're designed for a three second attention span and i think that's horrible and it's conditioning your brain to to be unable to focus for any substantial length of time and i'm making adjustments for instance, and he didn't bark too much about this, but there will be no more YouTube for the rest of this week. And going forward, we're not going to be watching those YouTube joints to be like, boom, boom, bang, bang, boom. You know, the editing is crazy. It's flashy. You can't concentrate on shit for more than two seconds. And that kind of designed engagement, I think it's, it's, um, it's causing problems. 
Now, my son is still very grounded and happy, and, and, and I don't think, you know, he's, he hasn't been lost to that yet. But, of course, I don't want to be lost and have to come back. I don't want to get lost. So talking to him, I don't know if anybody else has said this saying, but I came up and just this was organic from me in my house. It was like I was talking to him and, you know, I said, focus on the goal, not the struggle. You heard it here first at the Mike's Opinion podcast. Focus on the goal, not the struggle. I guess it's a, a variation of an older saying, keep your eye, eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. And uh, when I say focus on the goal, not the struggle, this is what I mean. So often, whether we're trying to reach a particular goal or not, we reside in one or two camps. It's either negative or positive. And what I mean by that is you can focus on how tired you are. You can focus on how much stuff you have to do. You can focus on any pain or ailments that you have. You can focus on anything else. Your tools that you don't have, your lack of this or lack of that. You can focus on those things and those things will rear their head. If you've got a really crazy back pain or if you've got 12 things to do and an hour to do it in, you know, there's, there's all of these negative reasons. Because for me, it's either negative or positive. And you can focus on those and be distracted by those and be, you know, thrown off by those and, 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 and misdirected by those. Or, or, you can focus on the goal. Forget everything else that's trying to, trying to keep you from achieving that goal, from reaching that objective. But I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you today. No, 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 no. We ain't doing that. The goal will be achieved. The objective will be had. We're not stopping until we reach the goal. End of story. And that's all I wanted to say today. Focus on the goal, not the struggle. It is easy to get immersed in the negativity and the, the can'ts. I won't. I don't. Mm-mm. We ain't doing no can't, won't, don't. We're not doing that. What we're doing is can. Will. I will. Done. That's the word you want to reach. Done. You ever work so hard at something and you finally get it done and you like, yeah, it's done. It's done, son. Well, I am trying to build this, to instill this within my son early. Results, not excuses. Get the result. And yo, know, some people, sometimes wifey, like, yo, you kind of hard on dude, Joe. Not really, not really. I try to communicate things in a in a in a pleasant way. You know, I'm not the old school pop back old school, yo. Kids was like be seen and not heard. You better shut up, go sit in that corner, you better do what I tell you. And I don't want to repeat myself. Now she's gonna get the lashes. Son don't get the lashes. I haven't I haven't popped my son since he was probably four, three or four, just a couple pops on the booty, you know. Now, I think those, you know, one and two year olds that are just learning to navigate their environment and may stick their finger in a light socket. Yeah, you can't really reason with them. They don't understand your words. So a, a quick pop on the booty and I'm no apparatus needed. You don't need a switch. You don't need a belt. You don't need to be, 
You, we don't need to incorporate slave master corporal punishment or, you know, physical punishment to get the point across, you know? <clears throat> so, you know, if that two-year-old is about to put their hand on that high stove, no, pop, I need you to recognize, no, nope, you need to correlate the two. When I say no, that means immediately change your action. Pardon me. I want my tea to get cold. Um, so my son was pretty receptive. And I'm going to do an I did an episode with him. It wasn't a video episode. Actually, I had video for that. I just never uploaded it. But I have the audio episode when he was, I don't know. It's probably been five years. No, of the podcast only four years old. So it probably had to be four years or less <clears throat> ago. It was in the early days. Um, but I want to get him on. Uh, Cause he's big now. Who? He is taller than his mother, and he's definitely going to be taller than me if he keeps growing the way he is. <clears throat> so, focus on your goals, not your struggles. Don't be distracted. I don't know who need to hear this, but focus on your goals and not your struggles. So, um. I just, I want to give positivity to the world. It's the whole goal of my podcast, and it is yet to become popular. It would be great if you helped me with that. Like, I, I, you know, I, I, you have to say it. Please like, share, follow, and comment, interact. Put some comments in there. You know, YouTube. Spotify, Apple, wherever you get in your podcast, wherever you listen to it. This is the only, YouTube is the only place I put it on video. Um, I know there's Rumble out there. And if you know any other places I should upload my uh, podcast video, please let me know. Oh, excuse me. Please let me know. It'd be greatly appreciated. Help, help me out. Also, if you would like to significantly help as well financially, that would be greatly appreciated. Right now, I have a GoFundMe. I also accept um, PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. The links are in the show notes. If you can't find it, reach out. Hit me up in the DMs uh, on any of the socials or uh, shoot me an email, mikesopinionshow at gmail.com. Um, if you would like to send me a substantial amount of cash, mikesopinionshow at gmail.com, I will gladly send you my mailing address. Um, that'd be greatly appreciated. Growing the show and, you know, you wonder why these big brands, I'm not going to say they're, you know, big box brands, big car brands, big restaurant brands, well-established brands continue to spend millions and billions of dollars of advertising. You know, getting the exposure, this is why all these um, ladies are out there, out there posing and trying to get brand deals and, and every day, you know, you know scantily clad don't have a lot of clothes on because they're trying to get exposure they're trying to get likes and follows and that's the world we live in right now and in fact advertising that world has been around for a long time and it's effective so i need your help getting the word out you know uh it takes money to make this podcast it takes money to get exposure for this podcast but you can help and i mm, I can't tell you how much I would appreciate your help. I would appreciate you for doing that. So like I said, this is going to be a short episode. Focus on the goal, not the struggle. Let me hear you say it. Say it. Say it. Let's say it together. You ready? Focus on the goal, not the struggle. All right. I hear you. I hear you. As always, I hope you are doing okay. I hope this summer... It's going to be the bomb for you. I want to say another the bomb. We have all these these things. You know, I'm going to hold you down. It's going to be the bomb. Can we say some stuff that don't have to be, you know, ne turn the negatives into positive? I'm going to have to think about that. If you got some ideas, let me know. And if I like it, maybe I'll say it in the next episode. Um, trying to get back to consistency every week. Drop every Wednesday at noon central time. That's going to be 1 o'clock on the East Coast, 10 a.m., on the west coast um and 
my positive vibes go out to you. My love goes out to you. Um, let there be peace on earth. Yes. I will see you next week. Again, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike. This is the Mike's Opinion Podcast. i see you next time. Thank you so much for listening to Mike's Opinion. Logic Unleashed. Unleashed.